Welcome to Sons Gaming, I'm Darth Pascal, and I'm super glad you're here because this is a video I've wanted to do for a long time. I love doing these greatest shooter videos where I review and compare different first person shooters from new and from old, and this is the newest first person shooter we've ever done. Today, I will be reviewing Titanfall 2. So if you're new here, we do this in a few different segments. So we start with campaign, then we talk about multiplayer, then we talk about impact, then we wrap up the video. So we're gonna start this off by talking about campaign. Now Titanfall 2 has one of the most underrated campaigns I've ever played. Back in the early to mid 2000s, everyone was playing first person shooter campaigns. People played Doom 3, they played Halo 2, 3, uh, Gears of War. They loved the shooter campaigns, whether they played it by themselves or with friends. You also had a lot of people who played multiplayer. So when you played Modern Warfare 2, 9 times out of 10, most people had played the campaign. And now we flash forward to about 10 years later, and people aren't really playing campaigns anymore. You have people who do like those single player experiences, you have people who do like the multiplayer experiences, but there isn't really that middle ground anymore of people that play both. It doesn't really exist as much as it used to. If you bought a game, typically you played the single player. But this is a game that I feel is kind of in that middle ground. It's one of the few exceptions. Most people I know who've bought Titanfall 2 or have played it have probably played the campaign. It gets high praise from critics and fans alike. It's really unlike any other campaign that's come out recently. Modern Warfare 2019 had a good campaign, but it wasn't great by any means. It didn't do anything that much different other than maybe a few more mechanics and maybe better graphics? I don't know. It's not that different from Modern Warfare 2 or even Modern Warfare 1. And so with Titanfall 2, they went for straight innovation. They told a great story in a, in a wonderful lore that really has you engaged from the beginning and you're really interested in these characters, especially the relationship between the pilot, the main character, and BT, the Titan. So these characters have an interesting and uh, deep dynamic that you wouldn't normally see in a campaign, especially a story between a human and a robot. One of the biggest strengths of this game is the dialogue. You hate the characters you're supposed to hate more than any other characters I can think of recently, and you love the characters you're supposed to love. There are some characters you're indifferent about because they're a little too sassy, or frankly, they don't trust you enough to put your faith in the player character. BT's relationship with the player character is amazing. It's funny, it's heartbreaking, all at the same time. Now, right about now, if you've played this game, you're probably thinking, why are you only showing videos from the first level and the second level? Well, the reason I'm doing that is because I think everyone should play this campaign. And I don't want to talk about it a whole lot, other than point out a few funny moments. I think somebody's in love. A human's concept of love requires admiration, attraction, devotion, and respect. Conclusion. I am 50% in love. I advise against turning yourself over to the IMC. Voice pattern analysis indicates they are lying. You don't think I'm that stupid, BT? Undetermined. I will not know the full extent of your brain function until we establish a neural link. All you need to know is that this game has incredible mechanics that are creatively used. I mean, very, very creatively used. This game is extremely deep in the way it tells the story, but also the way you experience it. And that's all I really want to say. I know I just said that, but really, I want you to experience this game. It's five bucks. You can pick it up. It's super cheap. You can probably go to GameStop. You could get it on Amazon, eBay, wherever you get your games. You can probably get this super cheap. And even if you want it digitally, it goes on sale like once a month. So you can get it on sale a lot because they're really just, they're done with this game. They, they're not putting any more time into it. So you can get it super cheap. Play this campaign. Don't take my word, don't just take my word for it, play it. I guarantee you'll love it. It only takes about five hours to complete, and really, it's one of the best first-person shooter campaigns I've ever played. 
I don't want to give you this Marvel Avengers effect uh, where it's like you have to see this movie and then you see it and you're like, okay, that was good, but that wasn't life changing. That wasn't the greatest movie I've ever seen. But I really highly suggest you watch this watch this play this game it's absolutely amazing i think you guys will really enjoy it especially if you're a fan of the halo series or frankly even the call of duty series but you want deeper lore you will experience this in titanfall 2 and like you just saw there are a lot of funny moments that keep you engaged throughout Okay, now let's move on to multiplayer, and the multiplayer is very dynamic. There are a lot of different modes that feel completely different from one another. If you're playing Titans vs. Titans or Last Titan Standing, the Titan-only game modes, you're going to have a completely different experience than if you go into Pilots vs. Pilots. The, the game modes are very diverse while feeling um, similar in a way, and I know that's kind of hard to describe, but if you go into ground war versus domination versus team deathmatch versus kill confirmed in any call of duty game the experience is overall the same and so with titanfall 2 the gameplay really is diverse but also feels familiar so you're never going to hate a game mode really you can put it on play all and have a great experience with any of these games now, while the game modes are very diverse and, and very creative, and you won't see a lot of them in many other games, or m maybe you will, but just a different structure of them, the weapons will feel very familiar if you've played Apex Legends. Almost every single one of the guns that is in Titanfall is in Apex, or I would say 75% of them. The Flatline, the R201, the Spitfire, the G7, some of them have different names like the double take instead of the triple take, but they're all here, or a lot of them are here. And the, the weapon structure will feel very familiar to you, and might make jumping into this game a lot easier. One of the only negatives I have about the multiplayer, and it happens to any game when it gets to be 3-4 years old, is there isn't a very active player base. About 5,000 players on at a time. Sometimes you can get above that 10k player base, sometimes it dips almost to below 1,000, but it's around that 1,000 to 10,000 always. So sometimes if you want to play one specific game mode, you might have to wait five minutes to get a match. Other times, if you want to just play anything, you'll get a match pretty quickly. So that doesn't necessarily make the gameplay any worse or, or any better. It just means that be leery going in that you might have to wait a little bit longer than you're used to. Now the last thing I want to talk about with multiplayer, and this involves single player too, is the movement. Now if you've played Black Ops 3 or some of the other Call of Duties that have this intense movement, it's going to feel very familiar to you. But I'm here to tell you that it's never been better than in Titanfall 2. The movement is absolutely amazing. Being able to jump from wall to wall, building to building, grapple hooks, speed boost, everything's here to make your experience that much better. Now, when you play Call of Duty Black Ops 3, it gets annoying. It's not the same feeling of when you pull off a great move, it's like, oh, whatever, this is just how the game's built. But for some reason, the structure behind Titanfall 2's movement system feels so much better. It feels so much natural and so much easier to use, but also difficult to master. So you'll have some players that are going to be outpacing you like crazy, but you can learn to get that much better. You'll figure out what works for you. Maybe you're somebody who likes to camp. I hate to say it, but every game has campers. And it's a legitimate strategy whether you like it or not. Maybe not in Modern Warfare because it's a little cheap, but in Titanfall 2, there are legitimate strategies throughout the entire game. Some people play where they never use their Titans. They'll call them in and have them on autopilot. So there are a lot of different things that you can do more so than many other first person shooters. There's a lot more strategies to play in here. One of the only negatives I have with this game is I've played it a lot with two, sometimes three, four friends, and except for maybe one or two game modes, uh, there's not a lot of team play within the game, at least that I can see. I think that there could be, but it's nowhere near Rainbow Six, Apex Legends, some of those games that require constant communications. Is it at Halo's level? No. Is it at Call of Duty's level? Absolutely not, because Call of Duty has zero communication almost. A lot of people are going to argue with me on that, but if you're not playing Search, you're not communicating in Call of Duty. So I think the communication is one of the weaker points, but it's just how the game's built. Some of the game modes need a lot of communication. Some of them don't. Alright, so now let's talk about Legacy. Now this game is only three and a half, four years old, so how could I talk about Legacy 
Well, it's right there in its successor, Apex Legends. And so they, they took a lot of the mechanics, a lot of the uh, things within the Titanfall universe, and put it straight into a Battle Royale game, which is one of the most successful games of the last 10 years. It's up there with Fortnite. It's up there with Minecraft. It's not right at their level, but it's just below that. And so they took the, the things from that and inspired a whole game that has been very successful. And it was nominated for many Game of the Years, Titanfall 2 was. And so that's its legacy, is it inspired Apex Legends and will hopefully continue a, an, an amazing franchise. I hope that Titanfall will continue. I hope to see a Titanfall 3 or at least some spinoff like Apex Legends, but with the movement, with the Titans. Bring those back in, not into Apex, but make a new game with those features in the Titanfall universe because it is a very engaging universe. It has amazing lore. So I'd love to see more of that. And I didn't really talk a whole lot about what makes this game amazing. I did a little bit, but I want you to experience it for yourself. And that's why I didn't talk about this because it's still playable today. It's not like us talking about Black or Modern Warfare 2 or Halo CE. Games that if you went back and played, you might have a good time, but there's probably games out right now that are better. In this case, I don't know if there are a lot of other great first person shooters that you could play right now that are better than Titanfall 2. That's why I don't want to talk a whole lot about this because I think you guys need to experience this. I think it's an amazing game and if I had to score it, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. Really close to a perfect game. And to me, the campaign's one of the best I've ever played in history. I'd put the campaign right at the top of, or close to the top of the best first person shooter campaigns I've ever played. The multiplayer is, is great, but it's not at the same level as the campaign in my mind. It's an amazing multiplayer. And if you haven't experienced, I would say definitely go out and pick it up today. And so where would I put this on our running list, you might be asking? It's at number two. I know that's shocking because Modern Warfare 2, I talked about it like the second coming of Christ, but I think Titanfall 2 is a better game. I think it's at number two on our list. And so that's where it'll be on our running list. Okay, so what do you guys think about Titanfall 2? If you've played it, do you think it's as good as we do? If you haven't played it, you definitely should, but let me know what you think about it. Let me know if this video inspired you to go pick it up and play it and see for yourself about how good it really is. I think maybe I'm looking with rose tinted glasses, but I really don't think I am because I've played this game a lot recently with friends by myself. I played a decent amount of campaign, even though I played it again, I played through it again. And so I really love this game. So I want to see what you guys think down in the comments below. If you're new here, why not subscribe? We post videos like this every single Monday and I've been super busy. I've been working a lot. I haven't been making a videos on time. I like to get them out by Monday at 9 a.m. So I'm sorry guys, I've been slacking a little bit posting these later. Uh, I think we've had a couple on Tuesday, so I'm sorry about that. We'll try and get better at that. We're trying to figure out this whole uh, me being by myself editing. I've had some people helping us. Uh, if you like that Apex Wheel video, Ben did, my brother Ben did that. Um, he's a super great editor, just joined our team. We have some people on our new Instagram team. If you haven't followed us on Instagram yet, please do. Uh, we have the link down in, below in the, the uh, description. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. We love Titanfall 2 and we hope you do too. I'm Darth Pascal, and we'll see you next time.